Hello everyone, Pally Tub here. Welcome to Subnautica Below Zero, the sequel to Subnautica. Not an expansion, it's a whole nother game. I've heard a lot of misconceptions about what this is. As of right now, Subnautica Below Zero is still in early access. I think once this video comes out, it'll be like a week away from its full release. I hope that's right. We played the original Subnautica because you guys donated so much to charity. It was an incentive that we unlocked. And, well, this is no different. We raised $25,000 for the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society, and this was our $25,000 incentive to play through Subnautica Below Zero. I have been exposed to literally none of this game. I don't know how it's different other than the obvious ice on the screen. Uh, I have gotten really comfortable in the first Subnautica, however, the first few hours in the game, I was just kind of white knuckle driving everywhere, holding on for dear life, hoping some creature didn't come out of the depths to, you know, eat me. But I learned over time which areas were safe, which areas weren't safe, where the big critters are that might try to eat me, and how I can go around them. I know nothing, nothing about the wildlife in this game. How it reacts, is it aggressive, is it passive? So I imagine all that anxiety that I was feeling at the beginning of Subnautica might come back in some way. I also think, this is just my theory, that the enemies are gonna be a lot more aggressive because there weren't too many truly aggressive beasts in the first game. I shouldn't say beasts, animals. Let's not paint them with a a bad picture. They're just they're just living their best life. Anyway, this is a long intro. Let's uh, start a game. We're gonna play on survival again, just like we did last time. Oh, that cute little thing happened. Did you fall down? Oh no, there you go. Hey, first thing I like, the loading screen's real cute. Press any button to continue. Okay, set up in the chair. Here we go. Does this take place on the same planet as the first game? This is the farthest that I can take you on company space bucks, Robin. You sure you want this? The research is in everything. It is to me and Sam. I need to know what happened. The meteor storm. I can use it for cover from Altera's eyes. <sighs> Gonna miss you, Robin. I'll find my way back. Oh! So we're using this media storm, meteor storm to cover our entrance back onto the planet. We're smuggling ourselves down to a planet. Approaching 45, 46 feet. Surface temperatures. Oh! Drop pod deployed. Big kick. Oh. Oh, that's our life pod Welcome falling to 45, down. 46 feet. Enjoy your stay. Thank you. Oh. oh. God, there's meteors coming down everywhere. Well, this is different. We're starting. <laughs> I'm falling. Help! Help! <laughs> We're starting on solid ground this time around. Oh, we have a flare. Oh, we have a temperature gauge on the left-hand side. That UI's been cleaned up a little bit. That looks pretty good. If we get close to the fire, we warm up a little bit. So I guess the Below Zero wasn't just a clever title. It looks like we're gonna have to deal with keeping our thermal temperature relatively high open pda New what's up synthesized. welcome to adventure mode xeno worker you've arrived on the arctic climate your great expedition begins your xeno rocks pda is equipped to monitor your temperature and vital signs since you have downloaded the arctic survival almanac it will also dispense advice from time to time 
For the benefit of future adventurers, your device will also record observations and finding that you make. Survival checklist. Retreat to a safe environment. Yeah, I don't think this is it. Uh, administer first aid. No, we're good. Uh, retrieve emergency supplies if available. Survey the environment for threats and resources. Find or construct a reliable habitat. And don't wait until episode 15 this time, asshole. Construct necessary survival equipment using the habitat fabricator. Locate other survivors using line of sight or the radio. And maintain physical and psychological health until rescue. Psychological can be the hardest part. Adventure exploring the surface and cold weather Hypothermia climates. Imminent. Hypothermia imminent. Oh, let's get close to the fire. Uh, high winds can result in rapid onset hypothermia, as we just found out. Keep an eye out for natural shelter or restorative hot springs or a piece of trash that's on fire. If wearing a standard issue AEP suit, bodies of water may provide safety from the extreme cold. Unexpected detours occur. You never know how long you'll be away from home base. Remember to pack a lunch and a toasty hot beverage if possible. We can't say this enough. Layers. Investing in a quality cold suit is certain to pay dividends in warmth and safety. Remember, when in doubt, don't go out. Hey, that was actually like a nice little catch. Oh, this is where I came in at. Is there more supplies? That was a nice little introductory to get you going in the right direction. That's one thing I really enjoyed about the first game, how uncovering the story was dynamic. They kind of led you to things, but it was up to you to go there. You know what I mean? It was more suggestions than anything else. Well, this torch is certainly burning. Our food is a little low. But hey, that's what we have the nutrient bars for. Our water's just fine. Yeah, I'm going to get out of this area before any more of this shit falls. Our life pod was that way. I'm going to head to it. Holy smokes. That did not go as planned. I should find a way into the water and get to the drop pod. Did that thing just burn me or is it just hot? You hot? You like a heat lamp, my dude? Awesome. Well, wow, there's a substantial amount of land here. Anything else to gather? This looks like almost like a mushroom. <laughs> this is what I mean. Clearly I'm supposed to go to my life pod and that's 186 meters that way. But if I just started swimming this way for no reason, Oh my god! Hoop fish! Hoop fish! Hoop fish! New creature discovered. It was meant to be. It was meant to be. The very first creature I see is hoop fish. I'm gonna take good care of you, buddy. I'm gonna take good care of you. I love you. Uh, so like I said, the first area in the first game was pretty safe. And I don't think I have any reason... Wow, this is beautiful. I love the colors here. I don't think I have any reason to expect something to jump out of the water and kill me just yet. So we'll kind of see how that goes. I was just guessing on audio balancing, by the way. So if the game's too quiet or too loud, we'll just kind of adjust that in the second episode. It doesn't seem like it's overpowering right now or anything. In fact, I might turn it up a little bit. There we go. Now you can hear some of the ocean sounds. Oh, look at this school of hoop fish. We also saw a bladder fish and the, the peepers. So, oh, they did say we were on the same planet when we were coming down. That was the same planetary code. Whoa. Oh, hello. Hey, you were the little thing on the loading screen. Look at you. <laughs> <laughs> They're kind of cute. They're almost like, um, like Toucan Sam meets a penguin. Oh, and it's a little baby. I can pick him up. What the fuck? Wouldn't they get really mad at me? Oh, aren't you just beautiful? 
Oh, visibility up here is not good. In Subnautica 1, you could kind of look around you and you would use the above ground landmarks. Dangerous weather approaching. Seek shelter. Oh shit. Is that hail? Hail's coming down now? Or is that just a lot of snow? Oh god. No, that sounds like a storm. Whoa! Yeah, in the first game, you'd do a lot of your navigating by, um, or at least I did. I did a lot of my navigating by just looking around at landmarks above water, like the two islands, once you know how to spot them, and, uh, the, uh, crashed Aurora. But it seems like we came here by choice. I wonder why that is. Hey, my first piece of titanium. So this is our... Oxygen. Okay, that's gonna be weird. I'm used to having a ton of oxygen capacity. Oh, the floor in here looks great. I'm sorry about your sister. I want to offer my sincerest condolences on the passing of your sister. Oh. I got to know Sam better towards the end of my mandate with Altera on 4546B, when we were thrown together as base mates at Outpost Zero. She spoke often and fondly of you. I thought you should know it didn't sit right with me when Altera blamed Sam's death on negligence. The Samantha Ayu I met was many things. Kind, clever, devoted to her work, but never negligent. I wish I could offer you something more substantial, but my access to information has been cut off. You may be in a better position to look into things than I am. If you're able to, Delta Station was our HQ. They were in a big hurry to leave, and there might still be information to be found there. It has a big radio tower. Impossible to miss. Impossible to miss. Lillian Bench. It has a big radio well, tower. Sam, I guess I might as well gather some tools and resources before starting my search. Hope that radio tower is as easy to spot as Lil said. Oh, this is interesting. The first All game. Supply cash nearby. <laughs> Should be able to use this. In the first game, um, we didn't talk at all. We only heard the voice of others. And we're. Oh. Oh, is the sun going down? Ew, I don't know if I'd like that. Uh, emergency supply cache. I imagine the radio tower won't be visible from here, and we're going to have to branch out around these cliffs a little bit. Since I'm not seeing it so far, that's just my guess. Oh, hoop fishers are so pretty at night. You're so beautiful. Oh. The creep vines are red in this area. New blueprint synthesized. Oh, what was that? Uh, so I can make lubricant with that, but that's also what we make rubber out of, I think. Oxygen. Another thing that's interesting is we never had objects above our... Oh, I threw my flare. Oh! Hey. What are you? Oh, I love your colors. What are you? They don't seem aggressive. They just gave a little yell. Uh, okay, that way. Let's keep going towards the uh, supplies. It's very dark. Very, very dark. Another new fish here. You got a long snout. Hello? They don't look like they would eat me. I like that. I will say the colors are really vibrant in this game. This looks really good. Also, I'm at 138 FPS right now. It is running like a dream. Oxygen. Oh, shit. 
Oh, I totally forgot. I totally forgot. I was spoiled. I was spoiled rotten by my 225 tank. <sighs> okay, we gotta get used to that again. Or we just upgrade our tank as fast as possible. Hey, I'm gonna eat you for dinner, I think. Come here. New creature discovered. Uh, so we have a first aid. PDA. Is that the beacon I'm hearing? I'm well, telling you, Sammy, you see some weird things when you spend half your day in a sea truck. More vandalism? Was it the sea monkeys again? I don't think so. Well, I can't shake the feeling this planet is cursed. <laughs> There's no such thing as a curse. Yeah, you're probably right. That's nothing. You wouldn't want to hear about it anyway. Just a huge creature frozen in ice. What? Where? In a cave. Not far from your lab. And here's the extra weird part. As soon as I called oh. it in, they closed off the area. Don't want anyone going in there. But why? Sammy, I'm no biologist, but I think there was something wrong with it. Its skin just seemed off. Alien. An alien on planet 4546B. No. I'm serious, Sam. Something ain't right. Wish I could show you, but I can't get back in there. You can't, but I might know how to. Whatever you're thinking, we never had this conversation. Um, in Florida, my grandma has a really big pool. I'm going to see her, by the way. The day this video goes up is the day I get back. Yeah, I miss my family more than I can even express. Like, I, I feel so many mixed emotions right now. Like, I want to cry because I miss my family, but I also feel like tomorrow's Christmas because I'm recording this the day before I before I leave for a few days and um, I'm so fucking excited to see them but uh, obviously a lot of rainstorms in Florida Oxygen. it's a tropical environment and uh, oh wow look at all that snow I would um, I would never stay out if it if there was lightning and thunder but in the rain sometimes I would go in the pool and uh, kind of let some air out of my lungs and just kind of sink to the bottom and and look up at all of the uh, impact ripples of rain hitting the top of the pool above me. Dude, I used to live in the water. I miss it. So I'm kind of debating on whether or not I want to take that beacon. I, it wouldn't hurt to have another landmark, right? That first flare went out pretty quick, but there's another cave down here. Oh, is that a little egg? A little creature egg. Oh, man. Even these cave environments, I think, are really compelling already. Just the roots going through them, they're really cool to look at. Replenish oxygen. Nice. This is kind of creepy, though. <gasps> Are these, like, starfish that spin? Oh! You're beautiful. It looks like a sun. It looks like a sunfish. Is that what it's called? Oh, it's a spinner. <laughs> uh, oh! A root pustule. What is that? Um, I don't see a way out of this cave yet. It's kind of just going deeper. I'm not seeing anywhere to breathe. Okay, there is one here. Wow, I really got into a den. These new oxygen plants are beautiful. Look at this. Oxygen. Oh, it just clicked that I'm grabbing the oxygen. So in the first game, it looks like we can get out here. In the first game, there was coral that released oxygen. And you could just kind of camp above it to collect all the air you needed. Doesn't look like that's the case anymore. You know, I had this air bladder thing in the first game that I... Uh... Oxygen. Yeah, I'm going. I swim so slow. 
I had this air bladder thing, and I kind of only used it a couple times, but based on my ascent speed there, seems like it would be good. Did you just eat something? The initial shock of jumping into the ocean isn't really here for me this time. Probably because, you know, game design logic. You know what? Subnautica logic, though. Dev Reaper Leviathans were real close by to the shallows. And you could hear them for a long time. I haven't heard anything yet. I haven't heard any big bad yelling at me or anything. Just some groans off in the distance. Why do you want me to catch a bladder fish? New creature discovered. Sorry, bud. I don't really like holding you by the head. New blueprint. I was a little nervous about dropping into an unknown area, but luckily, this biome seems to have an abundance of minerals I can use for tools and upgrades. I didn't want another situation like Byzantos 5. When Xenoworks dropped me off, there were barely any resources. I survived off the land for three months with just a knife, my lucky PDA, and some rope. I am still kind of nice. proud of that, though. Yeah, you should be. Disinfected water gives more. So I'm going to drink the baby stuff and save the disinfected water for when we actually need it. And I'm going to try to keep, like, a food source fish and a water source fish on me all the time. Uh, I typically eat boomerangs. Nothing against them. I think they're beautiful. But um, they eat real good. And uh, bladderfish are great for water and for oxygen, just in case you get caught underneath. You can actually consume them for a little bit of air that they hold. But, you know, that's not everybody's cup of tea. Uh, I'm going to break a few of these things and see what kind of materials we're getting here. Um... Titanium, copper. Are all the crafting things the same? I guess I did kind of skim it. I don't know if I retained any of it, though. Okay, so those Oxygen. things were definitely rubber. Oxygen. Oh, I can't surface here. God, we got to get a bigger tank. Ugh. It's hard enough getting back up to the surface. It's much more difficult when there's shells of ice above you okay so let's make a plan of action here let's let's make a checklist for us to start to knock out that way i'm not just kind of roaming around aimlessly i do like for these videos to have a beginning and middle and end so let's get some of our basic survival equipment ready to go for the next session that we play on so that creep vine seed cluster does indeed make rubber it's going to make two pieces Boom, 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 we got that. Now in our personal devices, we can make fins to start to maneuver around a little bit more on. We also see that there is an increased oxygen tank that needs fiber mesh. In order to get fiber mesh, we're going to need creep vine samples, which you get from cutting the... I thought I made two rubber. Did it not? Uh, you get creep vine samples from cutting the creep vine bush, whereas we just harvested a little, like, gel sack, basically. Uh, at least that's how I interpret it. I think it was over this way, wasn't it? Wasn't it kind of towards that? You know what? Let's just start another pile. I don't want that much rubber. Let's just leave those down there. I'm sure nothing bad will happen to them. So now that we have a little bit of rubber, we should be able to craft the knife boom now with the knife we can gather what we need for the fiber mesh let's go do that so we need two samples for this right Whack! Whack! new blueprint synthesized did we get blueprints before just from picking up stuff or did we have to scan it or was it a mixture I, ooh, I like the addition of the quality bar on the side, how they deteriorate over time, but now you can see that deterioration. That's a really nice addition. Okay, so let's turn that into fiber mesh. Then with that fiber mesh, we can make a standard oxygen tank. 
So we were just free diving before, and now we can actually stay underwater. Additional blueprints to your data bank. Oh, the repair tools just been the added. Standard oxygen tank can be upgraded for deluxe and VIP breathing. What crystalline sulfur? What? Storms of ah! Wait, what the fuck? Some of the wildlife down here is very grabby. Wait. You took my knife? Give it back. I'll fuck you up. I seriously thought I was being attacked by a fucking shark right then. Like, it scared me so bad. Well, it looks like we found a little bit of salt. This is, uh... Oh! Hello! What are you? <laughs> Look at his little face! Look at his little face! I love him! Wait, you can grab oxygen? Hey, thanks, bud. Thank you. Ah! I don't know what the fuck that was, but it came at me really quick. I just want you to know I love you. You're so handsome. I love your colors. <laughs> okay, I caught it. I caught it. What are you, you little biter? A symbiote. <gasps> it's got a little bird beak on it. Look at that. I do not. What's that? I do not really like being out here at night. I still don't know what kind of uh Oh, got much darker. I don't know what kind of creatures go bump in the night, you know what I mean? Oh, hoopfish, you're so pretty under the water. Frost and the anemone anim heart. Oh. Oh, more supplies. Totally under an ice shelf. Oh, God, except for right here. I think I was dead, dude. I think I was dead. I don't think I could have made it back. Oh, I hate this. Being so illuminated. In pitch black. Fuck, I've had dreams like this. Holy shit. Ah, jeez. These sea monkeys are gonna get me in trouble. This is the third <gasps> shipment that those buggers have gotten their weird little hands into. Now we're running low oh, on shit. flares, and I'm gonna have to search nearby nests for stolen cargo. They're lucky they're kinda cute. Raccoons of the sea, those ones. I forgot I had a flare. <laughs> oh, those look like those little biters. They didn't see me, though. Okay. I need to worry about my air. I really need to worry. We can make a beacon! Okay, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. We'll get air. We're okay. Our calories are okay, our water's okay. Oh, this was cool to find. I wonder if we would have a mission to come find this place or if it was just a nice little surprise. Got a little bit more food out of there. Uh, got a data thing for beacons. And an arrow pointing that way. It looks like these beautiful little tube fish don't recover all of your oxygen, but they recover a lot of it. <gasps> is this what I think it is? A grav trap fragment. I really need to get a scanner. So what do we have here? Hey guys. Excuse me! Excuse me, can I... Oh god, is that like a shark cave? <gasps> and it's busted open? Oh no, thank you. No thank you. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. There is a ladder up. And I don't... have a scanner to see if any of this is new. I think maybe whatever that is might be. Hey. 
I don't see no radio tower. I don't know what they're talking about. I don't even know what direction this is away from my base. I should get a compass too. I think I'm stuck. I got out. Man, that's absolutely beautiful. The sun coming down through the water. Hello, hello. We should definitely, 100 meters away. Okay, I don't think I'll remember how to get here. So if I wanna make a scanner, that's just titanium and a battery. If I wanna make a battery, that is ribbon plants, which we got three of them. So that worked out. And then with that, we can make a scanner. I can find it, I swear. All um, right, I have a scanner. And you know, a little bit of water. So what was that PDF thing that just popped up? It was about our scanner. In goes the battery and titanium, out comes a scanner. Every xenobiologist's favorite tool. This planet has some fascinating flora and fauna, and I can't wait to learn about them. This will also give me access to a greater tool set. I'm assuming Altera left behind tech that I can scan for blueprints. That should make surviving and exploring out here a bit easier. Don't worry, Sam. I haven't forgotten I'm here for you. But it can't hurt Ooh. to do a little research on the side, right? I know you would have done the same. I will find out what happened to you. I promise. And it was around here somewhere? Oh, I don't know what that is, but I don't like it. Something's making a noise like a... Like a tuba off in the water. I don't have anything for you to steal. You get away. I don't know if that works or not, but I just put my item that was in my hand. I took it out of my hand. Let's see. So I was 100 meters away, right? So it must be like right over there. I keep checking these darker rocks just in case they have something different. However, I guess we can scan them now. So limestone, titanium, and copper. If I see any of those, ooh, a coral bridge. Oh, now we're getting into the real game. Coral bridges are formed by rapidly growing coral polyps that exhibit tig to, oh, I can't breathe. I don't know how to say that word. Fig motropism, which causes growth or response to stimuli when touching a solid object. Coral bridges grow in thick, twisted patterns that anchor onto rocks and other coral. The underside is covered in colonies of blue barnacles. Oh, those are the same blue barnacles we saw on those big boys. The reef backs, right? Isn't that what they are called? Oh, 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 I found one. I found one. It's got a little light on it. I didn't realize that. That's very helpful. One out of three. Okay. Uh, okay. Oh, good. So can... Oh, good. The grav trap. And we saw another one nearby this in the other direction, I think. We were following... The arrow, oh, I need air. Following that arrow that way. Why is the ice breaking? I see a light there, but I think it's a barnacle. <gasps> it's not a barnacle. Yes. Holy shit, is that another sea glide? Boys. No, it's a beacon. Oh, no. That's okay. Hey, the titanium at this stage in the game is pretty important. So these arrows, a pathfinder tool, is that where it led me to? New blueprint synthesized. And here I was like, I just need to swim an indiscriminate distance New this way. Synthesized. We did see another gravel bomb in this area. Gravel ball. Gravel bomb is something very different. Okay, I kind of, uh, feeling really exposed out here. Oh, God, and I was trying to go up for air. 
Oh, okay, I just got the shivers for the first time. Dangerous it just happened. Weather approaching. Seek just shelter. happened. Coming out of the water is what did it. Ooh, something big underwater. That was a roar. That was a roar. Okay, we might have to take a couple trips for this. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. First aid kit. Water. Oh, it's cold. All right, what do we got here? A mineral detector fragment. Uh, new Ancient blueprint synthesized. Seek shelter. Yeah, it's very cold. Desk? So is that, like, gonna help me like the scanner used to? New I'm just checking everything really fast. Okay, back down. I thought I saw an item down. Yeah, one of these holes. A sea truck fragment. <gasps> Is that what we're making instead of a sea moth? Are we upgrading, dude? I thought knowing that the sea glide had a light on it would make this a little easier. It's a little ominous, dude. No, don't take my things. There's a lot of thunder happening, but- Oh, there, there, there! This one doesn't have the light on. Nice. Beautiful. So in order to make the sea moth, we need lubricant, copper wire, and a battery. We can do all of that. The lubricant comes from this seed cluster that we've been keeping right outside. For the battery, we need one of these. And just one, because we already have some extras. But hey, let's grab some extras. Why the fuck not, right? Copper wire to finish it off. And boys, we have a Sea Glide episode one. Now, like I said, the full release the of this game is a personal transportation device used for high speed free diving. Contains a built in light and map. Oh, the map looks much better. Oh, that is so much better. Can I still turn it off? Toggle map with F. Oh, and they uh, made the controls a little bit better for that, too. Sea Glide Episode 1 feels really good, dude. Now, I'm not trying to speed through this game and, and finish it in record time, because as I was about to say before I was interrupted, it's one of those explodey boys. Can I pick him up? Were you stuck? Oh! He wasn't stuck. Uh, this game is still in early access at the time of this recording. And I don't know how it's going to change once it fully releases. But thank you guys so much for watching episode one. I do hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you're watching this, I'm back home, and we'll have more, some more, con we'll have some more content coming your way soon. Take care.